Hi there and welcome, I'm the Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to mix a hi-hat within Logic Pro X. Once Logic is loaded and you have your track inserted in, you want to solo the hi-hat tracks. Add an EQ to the hi-hat, go to the factory default drop down and find drums and vintage hi-hat. I need to get to a section where hi-hat's actually playing. I want a bit more high end, so I'm going to turn the high up turn the EQ off and turn it back on so I find that it's a bit better with that EQ. I'm going to add a little bit of reverb to the hi-hat. Just a factory default reverb. Just adjusting the wet and dry signal to try and see if I can hear the actual ring of the hi-hat. Turn that off and you can turn it back on. You hear it's brightened up the hi hat. Now it may be too much reverb. So, my sample hi hat is a sample of the audio hi hat I've already recorded but really heavily gated so I can just hear the hi hat and hear a little bit of the ring. The next hi hat I've got is the hi hat ring. So, I've sampled the hi hat and put a white noise emulator on it again just to give it a bit more ring for when the hi-hat is played when it is open. Now you have to be very careful with the hi-hat ring and you need to include it minimally within the mix because it's quite a strong white noise sound. Now I started playing that and I heard too much reverb so I've turned it down a little bit. Now I'm just going to include the rest of the mix, the snare and the kick drum which we mixed in our previous two videos to see what the whole drum kit sounds like together. kick drum and I like the snare drum ringing now I feel there may be still a bit too much ring on the hi-hat so I'm going to try and turn it down if you enjoyed the video today please leave a like rating and subscribe for more thank you for watching and see you next time